So, as you can see, there is no snow on the roof. We had pretty big plans for this video, filmed it all, and while looking at it... It was cheesy. We, <laughs> we couldn't put it <laughs> online. It was, it was that bad. It was, it was really bad. So, as a backup, I, um, I've been getting like thousands and thousands of, of Twitters, tweets? Tweets. Tweets? Tweets. I don't have a Twitter. He doesn't have a Twitter. So, full disclosure, we actually wrote these questions down like, what, 10 minutes ago? Yeah. Yeah. So, first question is, how did we meet? You can do this one. We, God, we were both traveling in Asia in 2015. I had just gotten through Vietnam and uh, made the jump to Thailand, and it was full moon party in the end of September. It was actually the Blood Moon Party. I don't know if anyone remembers 2015 Blood Moon Party. I don't even remember the Blood Moon. So. Yeah, there's other reasons she doesn't remember the Blood Moon. <laughs> so anyways, a couple of my friends that I had met, we went out, we had a good time. And about probably 4 o'clock in the morning, we wanted to stay up for sunrise. So about 4 o'clock in the morning, my buddy Seamus points at this table and there's like three girls dancing on it and he goes, Bro you need to go talk to them. And I was like, okay. All of them? All of them. So anyway, so I, so I stand up and I start talking to this one girl. And sure enough, Jen turns her head, and it wasn't the girl I was talking to, and I saw her eyes. And I, I don't even remember what I was talking about with this girl, but I just immediately switched the conversation to Jen. <laughs> and do you remember what you said to me? Yeah, I told you I was German. You said she was German. Yeah. She's Irish. She's I didn't not. want to talk to him, so. Yeah, she just immediately just kind of That was my blow off. off. I just tell people I'm German. I don't speak English. To be fair, I was wearing like bright neon short shorts and I had super long hair and I, you know, I I don't know. I probably wouldn't talk to me. But anyways, <laughs> long story short, I pushed and I pushed and we ended up talking. We ended up traveling together for the next like what, 2 weeks? 2 weeks. She, I was starting a job teaching English and uh, Jen ended up going down to Vietnam for what, six weeks, five weeks? Yeah. And she ended up coming back. We traveled together more, went to the Philippines. She moved to New York. We stayed in touch, obviously, and... And then you moved to New York. Yeah, I guess I kind of followed her to New York. Yeah. All right, question number two. That's not really a question. <laughs> Jen, where did you grow up? I grew up in a small town called Monaghan, that's in Ireland, it's like an hour and a half north of Dublin, it's close to the border with Northern Ireland, uh, it's small, not many people. So I got a chance to go visit her, go visit her hometown and this is like Farmville, USA, I mean <laughs> we're talking like land on land, I didn't even realize there was that much land. Ireland though, that's not <laughs> that's just, just my Ireland. hometown, <laughs> we're all like that. Okay, where I grew up, I grew up in a small town by California standards, not small by Ireland standards. Okay, uh, there's how many people in your town? 60,000 I think. And how many bars? Okay, there, well there's more now. There was like one main bar in Pleasanton. 60,000 people. In, in one bar. Um, there's less people in my town, I'm, I'm sure we have at least 20. Yeah, so. well that's Irish. <laughs> about half an hour outside of San Francisco, California. It's small, it's kind of like a bubble. Um, I love it, I, I love it to death, um, but it was, God, she likes to describe it as... Wisteria Lane. Wisteria like Lane. Housewives. <laughs> There's a curfew. What do you, if you're under 18? If you're under 18, you have to be in by 10 or else a cop will pull you over and like, uh, yeah, you know, so. ask who you are and what you're doing, which is nice, you know, it's great for families, but you know, when you're getting to the age of, you know, you, you want to stay up past then, it, you know, it gets kind of annoying. Everything looks so perfect in this time that you just know so much shit is going on behind closed doors. It's quite entertaining, actually. Like, she thinks there's murders. Oh, and, yeah, you know, definitely. There's affairs happening everywhere. <laughs> like. Okay, question number three. Jen, what do you do? I work for a public accounting company in New York. Um, I work in the financial services department, so it's auditing hedge funds predominantly. Not exactly riveting and exciting stuff. She doesn't think so. I find it fascinating. <laughs> Numbers and spreadsheets. Yeah, uh, I worked for the same company in Dublin for three and a half years. I got the opportunity to come to New York, and yeah, today's my last day. So it's 20 to 10. 
Thank God today is my last day. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to take a career break before we settle in California. Going traveling. If you guys didn't know, if you guys seen the last video. We're pretty excited about it. Okay, what do I do? Um, I actually, a couple months ago, I started my own business. Um, it's a production company, Canty Productions. And I basically do like promotional marketing, advertising videos for companies, hotels, restaurants, stuff like that. Question number four, the last question. What are you gonna miss about New York? <laughs> uh, what am I gonna miss about New York? I feel like since I moved here, I've got super demanding on what I want and when I want it. Yeah. As in, I have no patience to wait for anything. And if I wanna go shopping at 10 o'clock at night, I can. So I think that's what I'm gonna miss. Yeah, so. God, that having anything at your fingertips yeah. in New York City, it, something you kind of take for granted. Like you can literally get whatever you want in a matter of like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. Like you just walk down the street and you'll be able to find it yeah. immediately. I think the main thing I'm gonna miss about here is like the public transportation, which is weird, I know, but like, God, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's the biggest subway in the world. So like, you can hop on the subway and get like anywhere for a matter of $2.75. Not gonna miss the honking. Oh, oh my goodness. The sirens. <laughs> Jesus, we live on the third floor, like, I don't know, probably half a block away from a firehouse, and we hear mm. sirens every day, all day. I work from home, so literally probably 10 sirens a day at least. And to be honest, I don't really hear them anymore. It's the honking that gets me. Yeah. And it's and it's the New York City honk. It's it's like, I would be completely fine if yeah. it was like, like a, a toot. Like a toot yeah. toot. But no, it is like a <laughs> And it, oh my goodness, yeah. I, I can't. All right, well, next video, we're packing up and we are leaving this wonderful city. I don't know if you guys, it's the Empire State Building. It's pretty cool. We're gonna miss that as well. Okay. Stay tuned. Can you hear that? Yeah. Every day, 10 times a day. At least. At least. <laughs> more than 10. Middle of the yeah. night. Oh my goodness. Okay, stay tuned for the next one. It'll be more exciting, I promise.